Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of That's All Funny, episode number... Hold on. There we go, episode number 759. It's another another day. Another fucking day. Um, God damn it. Another day, god damn it. And uh, I'm just here chilling. I eat some, I don't know, some Indian chicken with some olives and potatoes. It's pretty good. I'm getting, I'm getting the hang of it, of that Indian food. It's not bad. Um, I was keeping up with my shits today and very minimal blood, very, very, very minimal blood, just a little bit of blood, nothing to worry about. You, you know, at this age, you're just like, I could take a little bit of blood on my stool when I'm, uh, you know, taking a shit, you know, um, uh, I, I, you know, and I ordered some deodorant, ordered some, uh, candles some scented candles because i like having a scented candle i've gotten that that age where i i like a scented candle on like all the time and it just like relaxes me the smell and then like the little like light glimmer in the dark and the warmth i don't know i just i just like that while putting on a little bit of music while i'm doing uh my my uh work you know yeah yeah it was just another day you know um, I was trying to, like, I was doing work and I was watching a little bit of, like, porn while watching while doing work, and um, I'm just like really turned on by Asian women that eat spaghetti. I don't know what it is like. It, it's such a like, like it doesn't make sense because why would an Asian woman eat spaghetti? But like, it's I could see why it's like so hot. You know, it's like taboo it's like man this is an asian woman she should be eating chinese food right but she's eating italian food and like i don't know it's just like the taboo shit that like whoa this is this is right it's kind of like the whole step stepmom stepson type shit but instead it's like like that's taboo but i'm in this category of chinese women or asian women i don't know but if they're chinese but asian women eating spaghetti they're probably japanese right if i had to really narrow it down so japanese women eating spaghetti i love it fucking gets me going uh, 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 uh it gets me gets gets my dogs barking you know and gets my um my pants uh gets my pants presser steaming <laughs> that's that's exactly what it does to me but let's check out the news we got a little bit of random news here i have a little audio let's see if it fucking well for some things uh town is burning through taxpayer money trying to obscure trump 2024 sign being projected on water tower uh there's a little picture there so a massachusetts town is spending taxpayer money trying to overpower an obscure and obscure a political message being projected onto the local water tower the town of hansen is scrambling to respond to a message supporting former President Donald Trump's 2024 run for the White House after it was noticed Friday. The local administrators have used government resources, including blinding spotlights and highway department employees, in a failed attempt to overpower the Trump 2024 projection. Um, so apparently they're like, uh, they've noticed this resident of the town is, you know, doing this little bat signal looking thing for the Trump, um, Trump, at whatever side and they don't like it you know because they want to be a town that doesn't like lean any political way in any way shape or form so they're trying to find the dude like uh tell him oh we're gonna charge you i don't know 100 bucks per day as long as you keep that light on and uh i don't know that's pretty bold of that dude to do that it's pretty funny too <laughs> it's like you, you know, you think if it were anything else, like uh, a Chinese or Asian woman eating spaghetti, like they wouldn't mind, you know what I mean? But since it's uh, politically motivated, of course they want to fucking take that shit off, you know? Like nothing wrong with an Asian woman eating spaghetti, but of course you want to lean a political way, and it's not the way they want you to lean. Of course they're telling going to shut you down, Charlie Brown. Good grief. Good fucking grief but whatever this this guy this guy's a cool guy i think um we'll see if he uh comes out in the news or 
keeps it up. I mean, you know, we'll see. The election's pretty soon. It's on the November 5th, right? Remember the remember the 5th of November, right? Something like that. I don't know. I'm not into hairy back bitches. The fuck those hairy back bitches. I don't like bitches with hairy backs. I need my chick to have a back hairless or with very, very, very minimal hair. Not a lot of hair. Next year on the news, Starbucks is scaling back discounts to focus on, quote, community coffee house roots. Uh, the company is putting BOGO deals on the back burner and restoring full prices to menu boards. The Seattle-based multinational chain announced it would dial back its frequent discounts and promotions. According to the Wall Street Journal, this move is part of an overhaul happening under the company's new seated CEO, Brian Nicole, who joined Starbucks in September. Oh, boy. I am yawning. I'm sorry. We will be the community coffee house known for great coffee. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Um, I don't know. I haven't drink drinking Starbucks in quite a long time like yeah i've gotten their frappuccinos like the glass ones you could get at the fucking um minute mart down the street or whatever the gas stations but like starbucks physically i i never know what to order i think my favorite thing to order from there is the uh vanilla bean frappuccino it's not it's not even it has no caffeine in it like what's the point of drinking a drink there i've always said that doesn't have caffeine like that's that's fucking that's like uh having a dildo without batteries like it's good but it makes no sense that it could be even better you know what i mean so i don't know it's like not it's like having an asian woman eat anything else but spaghetti like i i know it's kind of hot but it could be way hotter um but yeah i don't know about starbucks scaling back their deals i mean people are still going to buy their shit cuz people are just addicted to it and even just like the brand name, like it could still be a uh, coffee that's equivalent in taste and price. Uh, but as long as you don't have that brand name recognition, people are going to be like, what are you drinking? Are you drinking? You're not drinking Starbucks. What the fuck are you drinking then? You know, that's pretty much it. That's their whole fucking philosophy. Right. But whatever. Um, you could just talk to the people who drinks i don't know if you're just gonna drink starbucks drink starbucks i don't care just i just think you should get coffee or tea that like has caffeine in it you know like otherwise why even shop there you're 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 not buying shit you know you're not gonna go there and get a fucking cup of water or a lemonade you can buy a lemonade anywhere else it probably tastes just as good be half the price you know can't get spaghetti from there <laughs> that's for sure uh next year on the news on twitter uh we have al pacino showing off his shrek phone case let's see what he has to say about his shrek phone case all the things in the world that i thought al pacino would have on his phone cover i was not expecting shrek <laughs> who would be expecting shrek who that's mine can you explain why you Shrek it? My youngest daughter said, can I have your phone, Dad? I'm just kidding. So I gave her my phone. And she came back, and she had this on it. She said, it's Shrek, Dad. I said, Shrek? Wow. Okay, babe, I'll hold on to it. <laughs> All right, so he just got a Shrek case from his oldest daughter, and now he's just rocking a Shrek case. Cool. I don't know. I, I've recently... Um, I've never been into Shrek really recently. Like my, my youngest niece, my sister puts it on for her like all the fucking time. Like it's on all the time Shrek and like sister act and the fugitive for some reason, um, which is a good, a good movie to the fugitive. Like uh, I didn't kill my wife. I don't care. It was a one armed man. Uh, but Shrek Shrek's okay. You know, like, I need to give it a, a better chance and actually sit down and watch it. Um, but it's just, it was never my thing growing up. And I've always been more of a Disney person, I guess. They, oh my God, more yachting than a DreamWorks person. So yeah, Shrek, Shrek's not bad. I, I'm, I'm not saying it's not, not good, you know, and I hear good things about that Puss in Boots movie. 
Puss in Boots movie um, with its scenes of like anxiety and depression and all that. So, I mean, points and kudos to that. Uh, Al Pacino rocking that. I think that's the best thing he could do for his career, honestly, after uh, the travesty that was Jack and Jill, which I, I keep seeing. You know, I never saw the movie, but I see how like it really ruined his career and probably almost fucking killed it. Uh, he could use any sort of uh, positivity in the news. So this is great. I, I approve of it. Keep rocking your Shrek case, bro. Uh, Al Pacino. Uh, go along with it. Lastly, here on uh, the news, I don't know if this is news, uh, Twitch streamer banned for queefing into her microphone during a stream. Let's take a little listen. To the queefing thing, it's amazing. You like the queefs? Yeah, I can literally queef on command. You guys want to hear this shit? Y'all want to hear this shit? Hold up. Let me just put the microphone right here. <laughs> Did you guys hear it going into my vagina? Now let me push the air out. Did you guys hear the air going in? And then going out. So if you didn't hear that, that was a female sucking air into her vagina and then queefing it out, which is like a front fart, I guess, if you want to define what a queef is. And uh, like it's a vagina fart, right? I think that's what it is. I don't know. If you're a girl, you can correct me on it. I'm not um, licensed. In, in those uh, reproductive health medical fields to know enough about the the female anatomy. But uh, that's an interesting thing to do on stream. Apparently, she was banned for doing it. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> this sounds like acceptable behavior. If she was just an Asian woman eating eat spaghetti, she wouldn't have this problem. Like, come on. You can fucking do that. Or if if, if, if you want to, like, not eat spaghetti since it's so messy, just fucking rub your... Have a loaf of bread, put your face down on it, and just rub your fucking face on that loaf of bread until you flatten it up just right. Just knead, knead the bread with your face while you have the microphone close to it. That's all you got to do. And then you got a, a million subscriber channel. You're, you're getting deals with um, gamer subs or whatever the f fuck those other fucking you're getting statues made of you and anime figurines and shit. That's all you got to do. I, 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 I've seen it. I've, <laughs> I've delved deep down the rabbit hole. I've uh, seen the can of worms that that is. And, um, you know, who doesn't love pasta? I'll say that, right? That's why we have never any pasta. Because we never want it to end. We fucking, we, we, we want infinite, infinite pasta. We would never want it to fucking end. Pasta doesn't need to end. It can fucking go on forever. That's all funny, guys. I'm taking this to the podcast. It's available anywhere podcast available. Just for, that's all funny. Um, I don't know if you want to see a Asian woman eat spaghetti. Go fucking look for it. It's great. It's life changing, I think. Um, I don't know if you're like a gay dude or like a chick that's not into like chicks or whatever, like a straight female. Maybe you might not enjoy it as much as I do, of course. Um, but you know, if you're not, check out the podcast. That's all funny every day. That's all kayfabe on Mondays uh, for wrestling. That, that's uh, Tits and Ariel's Been Salad. It comes out on Tuesdays. Uh, Tuesday nights, 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern. Those are great. Me and Ben Sala have a lot of fun. She's not Asian. I never catch her eating spaghetti. So that's always a, a fucking um, mutual, mutual plat platonic relationship there, you know? I'm sure if she, if she wanted to eat spaghetti in front of me, I wouldn't really mind it or care. Um, I don't know how I'd feel because she's not Asian, right? I don't think she is. She might have a little bit of Asian in her, but um, for the most part, I don't define her as Asian with the slanted eyes and all that. But uh, yeah, like and subscribe. Thank you to my Patreon members. Take care. Li uh, share and care. Love. Take care. Be safe. Like and subscribe. Stay